decent. Y'all, I'm my bad. I ain't even saving grapes or nothing. This is just gonna jump on right on in here. We got. <laughs> I don't even know how to start the video, child. Listen. What's up, y'all? This year ago, I'm coming at y'all with another Chick Fil A mukbang. Y'all know if y'all been following me for a minute, my favorite restaurant, fast food, is Chick Fil A. Hands down, ain't nobody greater than Chick Fil A. Y'all, y'all have to excuse me because I ain't said my grapes, my prayers, none of that. Okay, let me go ahead and pray. God is great. God is good. Lord, I thank you for my food, by my hands. You're my best friend. Thank you, Lord, my daily bread. Amen. My food is covered by the blood of Jesus, and now we may eat. Okay. Um, I'm looking for my straw, y'all. I am looking for my straw. I just had it in my hand. Like, I literally just had it in my hand. How I'm going to drink my drink without no doggone straw. Okay? Anyways, you guys, I got chicken nuggets. You guys, I had to gather myself, okay, for this video because I was feeling some type of way when I first, you know, when I first got in the car, I was feeling some type of way, you know, depression. Y'all, every, every three months about that time, it's like I start feeling some type of way and I'm like, I'm trying my best to control my feelings and thoughts and all of that. I'm trying so, so, so hard. Um... You know, because when, eh, I don't know, y'all. Every time it's time for me to go to the doctor, I I get I get a little anxious, you know. And my doctor said that that was normal, that everybody feel the same way. Where my straw at, y'all? Who I got to pause it so I can find my straw because this thing ain't let me be great. Girl, if the straw was a snake, it would have bit me. You hear me? If the straw was a snake, it would have bit me. Right there in my lap. Right there. Dead in my lap. So I got some Chick-fil-A fries. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Y'all know, y'all like them fries, don't know? Y'all like them chick Who don't like Chick-fil-A fries? Like, for real. Ooh. Mmm. And I got nuggets this time, y'all. I got nuggets. I think I got nuggets. I got a burger. I got a, um, not a burger, but a chicken sandwich the last time. I got nuggets this time. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. Oh, the devil is a lie. Hold on. I plead the blood of Jesus all over that nugget because it's when they get up off this flow. Hold on. Whoop. Five second rule. Good food, good meat. Thank God. Let's eat. God made dirt, dirt won't hurt. Hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, not today, Nugget. So, I had to wait, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. For the very first time in my whole, in my whole entire life of going to Chick-fil-A, I had to wait on the Nuggets. And they had a good, legitimate excuse for it. I'm hot, y'all. Why am I hot up in here? Um, They had a good excuse. Let me let this one down, honey, because it's cold out like here. I don't even know how to let it look. Um, it's called, uh-uh, let that one back up. So, anyways, yes, I had to wait for the nuggets. And the reason why I had to wait for the nuggets is, it's 30,000 people inside Chick-fil-A. And I say, what's all the people doing in there? Three bus loads of kids is in Chick-fil-A. And I, when I tell you they spilling out the door, you can see the line from in, down the street. Chad. Like, they giving away free chicken. I thought they was. I was going to ask, you know, for my free piece. But uh, they said, no, nah, it was just the kids chose to go to Chick-fil-A instead. Lord, I can't be having my hands all in my hat and in my food. Come on, now. Hey, I found my straw a few minutes ago. But where the thing on straw? I done opened it. Now I can't find a straw again. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Listen, you guys. I want to keep it 100 with you guys and talk to y'all for a minute about some things. How I be feeling. I be feeling some type of way sometime. You know, the struggle be real. Every three months, it's like, okay, I start feeling down and out. And and I start feeling sad. And, you know, and I just have to stay prayed up that I keep these feelings away from me, you know. Because it gets so hard, y'all. It gets really, really hard. I be just in a slum. Like, I really, really, really want some friends. And... I found that me skipping therapy the other day was just, I think it just, I don't know. 
it just made it worse because when I went to therapy today, I was happy. And I wasn't happy because I was at therapy. I was happy because I was around people. You feel me? I legit... I don't even know how to explain it. Just to be in another atmosphere, another environment, I felt more at peace. I felt more at peace than I am when I'm at home, always closing the room and never, you know, never go nowhere. You know, I ain't got no friends, y'all. I can't. Ugh. It's hard out here for a pimp, you know. Back in Florida, I used to go over my homie's house or whoever house that I knew. It was so much more fun, but um, here, I don't know nobody. I can't roll up on nobody's house and be like, what's up? How y'all doing? I can't. Who? The, who? Who? <laughs> who I ain't know since I was like four years old, three years old in pre-K and kindergarten, you know? In Florida, that's all it was, so that's all I'm used to, so I'm 41 years old now. It's like Ain't nobody my doggone friend. Ain't nobody my friend at this age. But anyways, you guys, let, let me talk about something real quick. Um, Somebody had asked me, because they saw me walk on the track a couple of months ago. They were like, well, what happened? Why you can't walk on the track no more? Okay. Radiation, what I was told by my doctor, is a gift that keeps on giving, Okay. That's how, just how he explained it, you know. So, um, just say right when I had radiation and chemo, radiation kind of, well, it does keep working even when you're not taking no more radiation. So, um, it's just like a sword trying to heal and it develops a scab. Okay, on the inside, you get scar tissue. And I had had scar tissue build up from the radiation because my body was in the healing mode. And the scar tissue caused me pain and things like that because um, I don't know how to explain. I'm trying to explain the best way I can. And long story short, the scar, the scar tissue kind of came in and took effect on like my walking ability, standing for a long time, sitting for a long time. I already had them problems anyway, but it kind of made it a little bit more intense because of the extra scar tissue that's now in my body, my muscles, my pelvis, my everywhere. So, I mean, that's why I'm going to therapy now to get, to get therapized, girl. I guess that's the word. I, I can't, I don't know the right word, but you know, hey, to get therapized on the, um, the parts of my body that's healing. Just say when when you heal, it becomes tight like a like a scar. So uh, I don't know. Listen, somebody who know what I'm talking about, explain it down below what I'm talking about, cause I don't know. Child, I'm gonna open this door. When I open my car door, the the lights and the radio and all of that still be on. I ain't trying to be up in here with no dead bear trying to talk down. I want y'all, cause never want y'all give me no jump. <laughs> Y'all ain't close enough. I know y'all would if y'all would, but y'all far away, honey. So, these fries are so fresh. I'm glad I came today. I feel so much better than I did a little while ago. A few minutes ago, I was crying, like, for real. I don't even know, you know, because I be thinking, okay, Lord, it's December. It's finna be December, and I don't want to go to the doctor, and I just don't want to go. That's just me. Every every three months, I'm like, no, I don't want to go. Please, God, make it stop. Make it end, Lord. <sighs> So, when I'm feeling like that, I have to amp myself up, get back right, come on and talk to you guys. I feel like as long as I'm talking to the camera, then I have a friend. You feel me? As long as I'm talking to the camera, I got somebody to talk to. Now, in real life, real life, some people give me their number. And talking on the phone is like, ugh. I feel, I feel too personal on the phone. I don't, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I feel a little weird. So, I don't know, y'all. I just need some help. I just need some help. One of y'all had told me a while ago to go look up meetup.com, and I did. And I found, like, in Alabama where this place that you can meet different people. And I'm like, I don't know about that, you know. So, 
I haven't done anything with that yet. And the crazy in me, want a friend one minute, and next minute I'll be like, nope, don't talk to me, don't look at me, don't say nothing to me, I don't want no friend, I don't even like people, you know? Because I'm antisocial, y'all. I really am antisocial. But at the same time, I'm very talkative and outgoing. But if I see you in person, it's like, hmm. Well, sometimes I done met a couple of y'all right here in Alabama that look at me and be like, what's your name? Is you that girl? No. Is that you? From YouTube. And I'd be like, my reaction is, girl, I got the dumbest reaction in forever. I'm like this. Why they trying to figure out if that's me. And I don't say nothing. I don't help them out. I ain't no friend because I don't help them out when they be trying to figure out if I'm gold mouth or not. I just sit there and look at them like. Then they don't guess it right. No, that ain't me. <laughs> well, some people already know. Oh, my God, you go mouth. And then I'd be so ashamed. And then it'd be on a day that my hair ain't done. And I got on my grandma clothes and some flip-flaps that came from 1942. So, yeah, that's a day when somebody really know who I am. I'm like, really? Come on, man. I be liking to come out the door looking any kind of way. And then when I do look any kind of way, that's when somebody know me. I be ashamed a little bit, but then at the same time, I be like, man. Not today. But I don't be wanting to be rude to nobody and stuff. Because I'm really, I'm a really nice person. But if they catch me off guard, it kind of throw me off, you know. I am drinking Power Aid, the Blue Power Aid. I cannot believe I had to wait on these chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. I can't believe that, y'all. First time ever in life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. I got 12 piece y'all. Mm. Y'all, y'all pray for me, okay? Because y'all never know with me, with my attitude, I come on and I be smiling and stuff, but as soon as I turn the camera off, a little while later, I be crying because. Just because. I don't even want to talk about it, but. When I say about it, I mean, I don't even want to talk about my journey. Cancel and all of that. I don't want. Ms. B. Love posted a video yesterday. He said donate to, um, oh my God, uh, drop food. Somebody can really loud. I'm sorry, y'all. Saying donate to this lady thing and I couldn't even watch the video because it was just like bringing me flashbacks like for real for real and I'm like oh my god and I didn't know y'all that it was a community like I didn't know certain YouTubers click with certain YouTubers because of the content that they put on their video I didn't know that like okay you got mukbang communities you got beauty communities you got vloggers I'm everything. I am every woman. So I feel like I should be in all y'all click. You feel me? I need to be with you, 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 and you. I can't just limit myself to one thing because then I feel left out because it's like you got this community here and I love y'all too, but I ain't a part of it because I do more stuff on my channel than just that. I can't. I don't know. That's how I feel. I be feeling left out, but it's all good. I can vibe with anybody, okay? I can vibe with anybody. Yeah, I don't want to make this mukbang 40 days and 40 nights long, okay? So, because my camera don't do too much footage, y'all. I don't know what, what the deal is with that. So, I'm going to have to end my video. I'm going to have to cut my video short, maybe. So, I don't even know my video going to tell me what time it is, how much more time I got, or none of that. I'm going to have to get me a vlogging camera one day by the grace of God so it'll tell me how much time I have because I can't get jiggy with not knowing when I'm talking with my camera going to shut off. I don't know. Because this is just my phone. I just got a raggedy Android. You know. Ooh, y'all. 
this is some good food and i feel good and y'all i like being out of the house being in my car i feel like i feel more free i feel more free that i'm out the house let me lock my door child for somebody to come in here and grab me in my car and ain't got to worry about no babies crying nobody doing this nobody doing nothing in my way nobody breathing around me any of that <laughs> like i'm dead serious because i be need my peace I really, really need my peace. Therapy was really hard today, y'all. I had to do new moves and new stretches, and when she be stretching me, she be asking me, do it hurt? She real gentle with me, and she asked me, you know, how I'm feeling and all that stuff. I like the personal, you know, up close and personal talk with the women and stuff at therapy. It's, it's real nice, you know, to have somebody to talk to like that. I get to talk to them about how I'm feeling. Um, how I'm feeling mostly, you know, because I don't never talk to nobody about how I'm feeling. And I feel like I feel better talking to a perfect stranger about how I'm feeling than to talk to somebody who know me, you know, than to talk to somebody who watch my videos and know a lot about me because I tell everything in my video, you know? So it's just that little getaway. You, you gotta have like a little getaway when you go and it's actually good. And the reason why I skipped money is because I didn't feel good. My body was feeling sore and I was having these thoughts in my head. <sighs> Wasn't that wrong with me y'all for real, but it was, it was. I need to go back to therapy again. I really do want to start going back because I feel like it'll help if I go to the right place. And when I talk about therapy, I'm talking about like mental health. Because I got a lot of problems that y'all can't see, but sometimes maybe you can't, maybe you can't, I don't know, but I can feel all the time the way my thoughts in my head and, and I need to talk to somebody who's going to push me, who's going to make me think a certain type of way or who gonna make me feel you know better i don't know somebody who can get my head right y'all but i'm gonna end this video right here i'm gonna take this rest of this chick-fil-a home because i just ain't gonna finish it y'all um thank you guys so so much for watching i love you all and that's all i got to say in this video and i'm gonna holler at y'all later bye